Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at the new podium vehicle, the Valarar. Now that's a weird choice of name, but I'm sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. In any case, we're gonna be looking at its exterior, its interior, the way it handles, customizes and everything down in Los Santos Customs. And as always, the first thing we're gonna start with is by doing a 360 around the vehicle. And just to give you a little bit of an idea of what you're looking at, you're looking at a vehicle inspired by a real world car. Or more specifically, mainly inspired by the TVR Cigaris. And something to mention here, I'm sure you did this as well, but when I first saw this vehicle, I assumed it was designed after the Nissan 370Z. But apparently that's not the case, and seeing how interactive it is and oh my god, what is that? No, no, that's too big to be Asian. <laughs> okay, so we're dealing with a lot of power here. And for the record, as if you couldn't tell, this is a two-seater, two-door vehicle. And it was released December of 2015, over five years ago. And its normal buy it now price is about $700,000. All in all, I'm sure you'll agree with me, so far nothing special. But if memory serves me correct, this is an incredible vehicle. So with the exterior taken care of, let's jump inside, hear how it sounds and look at the interior. And speaking of the interior, hello 1994! Hi! And the way it sounds... It sounds alright, but believe me, it's gonna sound much, much better as soon as we leave Los Santos Customs. Speaking of, let's get going! And just like we do in every video, the first thing we do on our way to Los Santos Customs is to crash in to see what type of drivetrain the vehicle has. I know, I know, the channel should be under the educational category, tell me about it. And with the discovery that this is in fact a rear wheel drive vehicle, it's time to seriously get going. And on our way there, I'm gonna share with you my initial thoughts of the stock version of the vehicle, cause as I said before, it's been a while since I've owned it. And apparently English is gonna be a challenge today, so let's just keep a counter on the top right hand side of the screen for every time I mess up a word. And in case you're wondering, yes, that crash was intentional. Yeah, that's it, intentional. This is now a scientific channel after all. And as a scientific presenter, let me share with you what this vehicle feels like. Good. But to elaborate a little bit on that, it doesn't feel incredibly fast, it doesn't feel incredibly well handling, but for some reason it just works, you know? The brakes are decent and the way the weight is distributed throughout the vehicle makes it extremely fun to just drift around. And as I said before, I don't really remember why I sold it, I probably needed money or something. I just remember having a lot of fun with it and that's why I'm so excited to see this on the podium. This way, a lot of people are gonna be able to experience it. <gasps> a tunnel and a jump! I can see my house from here! And oh my god, what superb driving! Shut up. And we are finally at Los Santos Customs after that flawless driving. Said shut up. And in case you're wondering, this vehicle is a part of the sports car category. I told you guys, it's an educational channel from now on. And speaking of, not really, but the first thing we're gonna do is upgrade all the performance options first. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I do this up front. This way, I don't forget anything performance wise, and it allows me to just skim over the customization options to see what I'm in for. And, uh, going over the customization options for this one, I'm reminded that this is a 2015 vehicle. As you can see, from bumper options, we have some, but not a lot, and not a lot of diversity. But they got a carbon one, so I'm not gonna complain too much. As for the exhaust options, not a lot, but uh, somehow they made it work. More exhaust, more better. And that philosophy can also be applied for the vents on the fenders. More fenders, more better. Oh my god, I just realized I had the English word counter hidden. Let's see how many words I butchered in this video so far. What? That can't be right. Thank you, that's much better. And it also does wonders to my self-esteem. And speaking of my self-esteem, it's time to look at the mirror option and ooh, carbon. Move out the way, custom mirrors, there's a new king in town. And I gotta be honest, so far the customization for this vehicle is a bit lacking. But totally to be expected, again, 2015. It was released over five years ago. One thing that I can't understand, however, is why the color Rockstar chose for it is so ugly. Green would look stupid, blue even more, so why not combine the two? But I'm gonna give the vehicle the props it deserves. From my recollection, I believe this is the only vehicle that uses this type of wing, where the mounting point's in the middle. It looks good and it's just something unique that you can add to it. And we're down to the suspension option. And believe it or not, there are some vehicles released in 2020, yes, I'm looking at you, Torrid Aurora, that don't have this. I really can't wait for you guys to just wake up one day and realize what a piece of crap that car is. But as I said in the previous video, I'm not gonna harp on the Toreador anymore. Piece of crap. But back to this vehicle and not the Toreador, piece of crap. 
The stock rims are fine, but I think these look better. And at this point, I got kind of curious and wanted to see what type of tire design we could have on this. And uh, not in a million years, not gonna happen. And with that then, we're only down to our last customization option before we go respray the vehicle. And if you've seen my videos before, you know that I like to go with a light smoke tint on the windows. And speaking of the aforementioned color of the vehicle, you guys, you guys are probably aware that I do polls where I ask you guys, the viewers, what kind of color you want me to make the vehicle in this video. Thanks to everybody that voted and mamma mia pizzeria. Oh my god, I'm sorry, wrong poll. Ah, there we go. And as much as I want to sing the theme song, I also don't want to get the video demonetized. But uh, listen, thank you to the 10,000 of you that voted. And if you're unsubscribed, also known as the lesser 80, make sure to subscribe so you can participate in the poll. As I said, I do these every week and every week you guys tell me what color you want me to make the car in this video right now. And even though sometimes the polls don't really make sense, I'm sure you guys have a lot of fun with them. And yes, because of the polls, I've destroyed many a car. What? Bring out the counter again? Don't bother. I clearly can't speak English. Not very good at narrating, not very funny. And this clearly isn't going anywhere, which theoretically would make me a perfect candidate for OnlyFans. And here we are, finally outside, finally FREEDOM! And in case you're wondering, yes, my neighbors love me. What do you mean neighbors, bull sheep? Don't you live in the basement? Shut up. But uh, back to the video. After exiting Los Santos Customs, I totally remembered why I loved this car. It's just unpredictable, but in a very fun way. Now, listen, it doesn't have the best top speed, it doesn't have the best acceleration, it doesn't have the best traction. But as I said in the beginning of the video about the stock version of it, there's just something special about it. The way you're able to just flawlessly throw its weight around is just something to behold. I promise you, it's a blast to drive, even though, as I said, it's not very fast and it doesn't accelerate very good. But you wanna know what it can do? It can sound like this. And the acceleration sounds great, but the deceleration, the gargle you hear, the crackling, just sounds incredible. And for me, that totally completes the experience this car is aiming for. And to the people that say that I'm a hater and I don't like anything, no, I like this car. Even though it's older and it doesn't have a lot of customization options, it still has a lot of character. And for those of you who are gonna call me stupid for making it matte purple in the comments, you guys made me! So to answer the question, if this vehicle is worth it or not, I think you can already figure out the answer. It's not gonna win you any races, but if you're looking for a vehicle to just free roam with and have fun, there are not a lot of cars that are as fun as this. And if you're watching this video and the week it was released, then this is the current podium vehicle. And listen, I'd recommend you spend 700,000 for it, but getting it for free? That's a steal. And with that, I just wanted to showcase how agile the vehicle is. Um, totally meant to do that. Whoops. And on that big disappointment, I think it's time to end the video. Thank you to everybody that watched this far, and uh, listen, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, there are a lot more cooler things to come in the future. And if you're already a subscriber, good job, you're on the right track. You're gonna be a success one day, kid, I tell ya. And with all that said and done, thank you guys once again, I had a blast making this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's hilarious! Do 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 using Google and totally not regretting putting pizza in the poll. What? Please subscribe. Then in case you're wondering, yes, this is the iSheep phone. Patent pending.